Well, good morning, YouTube. How many of y'all like dirt road, gravel road adventures? Well, we are fixing to go on another adventure in the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. We're loaded up with everything we might need, and we're on our way into Arkansas to find some gravel. So, follow us along. So let's begin our journey down the gravel road and see what kind of adventure we can find. It wasn't long on this particular stretch, which I call Falcon Bottoms Back Roads because it contains the back roads that's on the east side of Falcon Bottoms Natural Area. Be sure to keep your eyes open for deer because we saw a lot and there was a few times that they pretty much jumped out in front of us. So just keep your eyes open and be aware of your surroundings. This section, I would say, is 70% paving. Don't let this discourage you because this is the first section of a group of trails that's going to make up an overlanding route that I will be mapping. I already have mapped some of it and turned it into Onyx Off-Road. So if you have the Onyx Off-Road app, as soon as this is approved and they have the trails uploaded, you will be able to follow this route. So first interesting stop along the first section of trail that we're going to be mapping for onyx i thought this was a cool place to take a picture this is going to be a pretty long route it'll be an overlanding route when it's complete but i'm going to be breaking it down into sections so if you just want to do short sections of it you will be able to or you can do all of them and make a big long weekend trip out of it so we're going to continue on On this first section of trail, a two-wheel drive will do just fine. Even a car would make it along this trail with no problems. That's not going to hold true for the whole route. But there are sections of this route that you could do in a car, two-wheel drive, not needing 4x4 or high-clearance vehicle. But as we go further along this route into other sections, High clearance, four wheel drive will be needed for some of the areas. Some areas you won't want to attempt right after a rain or during a rain. You will see why as these videos are posted with the different sections of trails. So stay tuned as more videos of this route for each section will be posted head this route we'll get more and more gravel you are going to end up in some areas with some free primitive camping all you have to do is get online and get some of the permits for free because these are WMA areas in Arkansas we will get more into that as we go and the stretches of trail that contain these camping areas we will put information in the description for that particular video that goes along with the trail i'm going to try to do a video per section of trail that uh, make up this overlanding route so i hope this is something that people that like to get out and uh, travel back roads go camping primitive camping uh, and overlanding uh, i hope this is something you'll find helpful and we'll get out and enjoy making your own adventure outside <laughs> 